रिलेटिव मोशन फ्रेंड्स डू यू नो दैट द मोशन ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन द मोशन ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वर हियर ऑब्जर्व दैट द चेयर्स टेबल एंड द टेलीविजन आर नॉट मूविंग दे फोर दे सीम टू बी स्टेशनरी फॉर द ऑब्जर्वर नाउ द ऑब्जर्वर गेट्स अप फ्रॉम हिस्स चेयर एंड वॉक्स टू द विंडो When he raises the curtain of the window he sees the objects outside the window are moving oh actually the observer is in the caravan since the observer is in motion the objects also appear to be in motion from this we can say that every motion is relative to the observer so friends let's start our tour of relative motion in this session we will discuss relative motion and relative velocity let's start our discussion with relative motion of two particles consider two automobiles a and b moving along the same road now let's say automobile a has x a as its position coordinates and b has x b as its position coordinates measured from the origin the difference x b minus x a defines the relative position coordinates of b with respect to a it is denoted like this here the position coordinate of b with respect to a is positive if automobile b is to the right of automobile a and it is negative when b is to the left of a the rate of change of distance is velocity hence by differentiating the equation we get the relative velocity of b with respect to a and it is denoted like this the rate of change of velocity is acceleration hence by differentiating the relative velocity of b with respect to a we get the relative acceleration of b with respect to a it is denoted like this now let's see something interesting observe that two buses p and q are traveling along a highway from place a to place b they are moving with the velocity of v1 and v2 respectively another bus say r is traveling from place b to place a along the same road with a velocity v3 an observer is observing the buses from a hotel along the highway thus the velocities v1 and v2 are considered to be positive and v3 as negative now if the observer is traveling in bus p that is having velocity v1 then the relative velocity of q with respect to p will be v2 minus v1 similarly relative velocity of r with respect to p will be minus v3 minus v1 that is minus of v3 plus v1 so when the buses travel in opposite direction and collide with each other the damage is more so friends in this session we studied the relative motion relative velocity and an example based on relative velocity